In today's video, I'll be leaking the sauce in this new method to create this random edit transition. Without using Sapphire plugin itself, it looks way smoother and it is easy to create. So stick around till the end to learn all the sauce. By the way, my first After Effects plugin waitlist is here. It's actually called Auto MV and it adds VFX to your edit using AI. Yes, you heard it right. The work that used to take hours is gonna be done in minutes using Auto MV. It's actually dropping in my new site called Exploit. So you can go ahead and join the waitlist right now in the description because I'm giving a heavy discount to the waitlist subscriber when it drops. We literally worked six months in this plugin and it's absolutely crazy and I'm really excited to show y'all what we created. But anyways, let's just get into the tutorial. So in my timeline, you can see I have these two clips right here where we're going to add the transition on. So the first thing what we're going to do is make a gap between these both clips. So we have a space to add the transition, the random edits in. Then after making the space for the transition, transition what we can do is select our video the original video where are all the cuts are or any footage from the same music video can also work and firstly we're gonna mute this and drag it across and now what we're gonna do with this is right click this go to time go to time stretch and make it something like really fast or around like uh, 10 in the speed so it is like really fast like this now what we can do is go take a part so take a good part from here and just trim it so it fills the gap right here where we're gonna add the transition like this now we have played it through you can see we're already getting that look but we of course gonna spice it up by adding different effects in here so firstly before we do that we firstly gonna pre-comp this real quick and if you have i really recommend adding something like a rsmb right here and lower down the blur amount but if you don't have this plugin you can use something like a cc force motion blur right here uh gives the same look so you can bring up the motion blur sample and uh, pretty much gives the similar look in here or you can even use pixel motion blur i think pixel motion blur is little better than the cc force motion blur but for me i'm just gonna use rsmb because i have the plugin and now after rsmb it is a little smoother which i love and then after this we're gonna add another fx called posterize time this is not really necessary right here but i found out it gives a really unique look so i'm just gonna set it to set the frame rate to 12 and now if we play that through you can see we have this laggy motion right here which absolutely looks crazy with the rsmb maybe we can bring up the uh, motion blur amount more so it looks cool already looking super dope maybe we can even bump it up to something like 16 if you like maybe even 14 looks cool yeah 14 is perfect for me then after that you can add some more effect in here which i like is something like a hue and saturation and you can also add like a curves right here and just make a s curve uh in rgb just make a s curve so we boost the shadows and the midtones as well and the highlights as well and now if you really play that that looks insane and you can even bring up the saturation a little bit if you like something like that now we can keep on stacking more plugins and more effects into this to make it look cooler one of those effects is something like a time warp rgb right here is by sapphire though but it looks completely insane if i add it you can see it gives this crazy rgb look in there which absolutely looks insane you can lower down the amount if you like but as you can see that looks insane already and it also makes it a little smoother which i like so something like that and after this you can also stack something like a optic compensation according to your looks so maybe something like this if you like so yeah the effect is really versatile as i said it can be combined with anything but by the way this is the plugin right here which i was talking about in the intro we actually work like six months in this plugin and it is actually insane so yeah make sure to join the waitlist in the description but now anyways to finish off this effect what i like to do is add some adjustment layer and use some effects from my essential effects so if i open up my presets go to essential effect let me just close my auto mv for now and focus in here uh, we can add some transition in here so if you don't know this is a preset pack i'll also link it in the description if you want to check it out it got 80 plus effects and transition which you can use it in your music video so from here i'ma drag something like a hotspot v2 and line up the keyframes right here so it basically like has a blackout transition like that and even you can customize these keyframes so something like this maybe hotspot a little early on 
and i'm a lower down the blur amount as well so according to my liking like that and then at the starting i'm gonna add another adjustment layer and use something like a frame of three in here and just line up the keyframes like that and it adds this crazy framer like three framer that goes crazy with it and now if you play my result through you can see it looks absolutely insane but i don't like this hotspot transition it is not matching up with the energy i feel like so i'm just gonna replace it real quick with a shake so i'm gonna use a horizontal wiggle transition and line it up and that right there has a lot of energy and i guess it helps to break that flow so yeah, as i said if you want to download essence graphics the link will be in the description but yeah with this you can stack more effect on top to make it go crazy but that is good enough for me so this is our final result so that's it for you guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this because i keep dropping sauce and if you want to check an in-depth video on how to edit music videos start to finish you can click the video in the screen it's a 14 minute free masterclass so don't miss out but anyways i'ma see you on the next one peace